Hi guys, today I will be sharing cream cheese pinwheel cookies and the ingredients that we need are electric green food coloring and um, tulip red food coloring but that's optional you can choose whatever color you want one teaspoon of vanilla half a teaspoon salt two egg yolks two and a half cups of plain flour one cup plus one tablespoon of granulated sugar half a cup of cream cheese and one cup of butter first thing we need to do is to combine the salt and the flour give it a mix and then we will set this aside next is to beat the butter just to break it up then we're gonna add the cream cheese Now we're just gonna beat this until they are well combined. Occasionally stop the mixer and scrape down the sides of the bowl to ensure that everything is mixing well. Um, this dough recipe is very versatile. You can roll this out and cut um, or use the cookie cutter to cut out shapes that you want to do. At this point, we can add the sugar. Add the vanilla. Then add the egg yolks. At this point, we can add the flour all at once. And then I just gonna cover it to avoid the flour from flying everywhere. Don't overbeat the um, dough. Just use um, low speed. At this point, the dough is ready to be divided into two. I'm gonna be using um, the color of Christmas, which is red and green. So I've divided the dough into two equal parts. The first dough, I will add about two to four drops of um, electric green gel food coloring. And then I will just knead the dough until um, it is green all throughout. Just like this. So I will do the same thing with this one except I'm going to be using red um, food coloring. So the next step is to roll the dough into a log, then put it on a parchment paper. So we're going to have to um, roll the dough into a um, rectangular shape. You can clean out the sides if you want. I'm not aiming for a perfect rectangle. Something is something as close as a um, perfect rectangle will do because we're gonna roll this out anyway. So just roll it as best as you can.
Now, I'm just gonna put this in a tray and then pop it in the refrigerator while I'm working with the next dough. So, do the same process with the um, green dough, just like so. Just make sure that um, it is somewhat similar size with the red dough. Now we're ready to um, assemble the cookie dough together. So I'm just gonna place the green um, dough on top of the red dough. Just like so. And then I'm just gonna tidy up the sides a little bit. Just a little bit. And don't waste the trimmings. You can still bake them as well. And then using the um, parchment paper or baking paper, roll the dough like a Swiss roll away from you. Make sure that um, you're rolling it tightly so you're avoiding gaps in the pinwheel cookie. So after rolling, we will put this in the fridge to chill for about 4 hours or overnight because we want this to be um, hard when we're slicing it. This is optional. This is sprinkles. And then I've got one egg that I um, beat using a fork. So I'm just gonna slice the, pin, the dough in half. So it's easier to work with. The other half, I'm going to put back in the fridge to keep it cold. Using a brush, I'm going to um, brush the egg wash into the dough. And then I'm going to roll this into the sprinkles. So the egg wash is acting like a glue. This is optional step anyway. I made half with sprinkles and half as um, plain. Then cut it into 1 8 inch of a thickness. Then we will bake this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 12 minutes. They will not spread too much and they will not change color very much. What we're looking for is for the side to be crispy and a little bit soft in the middle. Let it cool down in a wire rack completely. And this is the finished product. I hope you give them a try. This cookie is easy to make. The only hard part is waiting for it to chill in the fridge so it's easier to cut again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye